Welcome back to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Recently, ASML, a Dutch company, suddenly announced a new regulation, which caught people off guard. Speaking of lithography machines, you may not be familiar with them, but their importance to chip manufacturing is absolutely irreplaceable. Lithography machines are like the sole engineers of chip production. Without them, the chip industry cannot operate at all. ASML, as a giant in the global production of lithography machines, occupies the vast majority of the market in this field. Our country has been trying to catch up in recent years, and even sent people to the Netherlands to learn technology, but they said that even if we were given the drawings, we could not make lithography machines. Although this is harsh, it also makes China more determined to develop its own research. In fact, chips have always been one of the shortcomings of China's technological development. As early as 2018, China's chip imports had exceeded 400 billion US dollars, almost entirely relying on imports. Behind the chips, the support of lithography machines is indispensable. Especially in recent years, Huawei has gradually broken Qualcomm's monopoly because of its self-developed Kirin chips, and smartphones have begun to compete with Apple in the global market. Coupled with China's leading position in 5G technology, this has put the United States under great pressure. In order to maintain its technological dominance, the United States began to impose chip sanctions on China. Huawei and thousands of other Chinese companies have been included in the entity list, and high-end chips, equipment, and other technologies are prohibited from being exported to China. The impact of these sanctions is very obvious, and the most direct one is the break in the chip supply chain. Foundries such as TSMC have also been forced to stop producing high-end chips for Chinese companies, and the United States has also signed a tripartite agreement with Japan and the Netherlands to restrict the export of semiconductor equipment. It can be said that this wave of sanctions has brought China's semiconductor industry into an unprecedented winter period, especially Huawei, which once faced the dilemma of no chips available. However, having said that, crises are often opportunities. The suppression of the United States has instead inspired China's fighting spirit of self-reliance and promoted the accelerated development of the domestic chip industry. Huawei's Kirin chip is the best example. Despite the continuous increase in sanctions, it has successfully returned through self-research. With the support of the country, major chip companies have invested in research and development, and the output and quality of domestic chips have also been gradually improved. In the first half of this year, China's total chip output exceeded 200 billion, and the export amount of chips reached 540 billion yuan. These achievements are due to China's accelerated construction of wafer fabs, and domestic production capacity ranks among the best in the world. When it comes to wafer fabs, we have to mention lithography machines. Although the United States has imposed many restrictions on equipment exports, China is also trying to speed up the purchase of equipment. In the first half of this year, China purchased 88 lithography machines from ASML, with a total amount of about 34 billion yuan. These equipment will provide a solid foundation for China's chip production. In fact, Nearly half of ASML's revenue in the first half of the year came from orders from mainland China, which also shows how much demand China has for lithography equipment. However, the United States is not satisfied with the restrictions on equipment and has recently started to make trouble. According to Bloomberg, under pressure from the United States, the Netherlands plans to restrict ASML from providing repair and maintenance services for lithography machines to mainland Chinese customers starting next year, especially for those high-end immersion DUV lithography machines. This means that once problems occur with these advanced equipment purchased by China, maintenance and repair may become a big problem. Moreover, the Dutch government 
has also expanded export restrictions on lithography machines, and even the old DUV lithography machines that were originally unaffected have been included in the control list. As soon as the news came out, many foreign media said that with the two sanctions from the United States, China's chip industry's hope of overtaking on the curve has basically been shattered. But I don't think this is that simple. Although this series of operations by the United States and the Netherlands will indeed cause China to face some challenges, it does not mean that China will stagnate. First of all, we have purchased enough lithography machines in advance, which are sufficient to support China's chip production in the next few years. Even if some equipment has problems, China has enough time and resources to find solutions. Secondly, more importantly, China's domestic lithography technology is also advancing steadily. Recently, the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology issued a promotion catalogue of major technical equipment, including two domestic lithography machines. Although the current public equipment can only produce 28 nanometers chips, this is already a very big improvement. You know, 28 nanometers chips are enough to meet the needs of many daily applications and can be completely replaced by domestic production. Moreover, the public technology is often not the most advanced and the technology that China has reserved behind the scenes may have already gone ahead. In fact, ASML and the United States may also understand that continuing to impose a technological blockade on China may not only affect China in the end, but also themselves. After all, the Chinese market is an extremely important source of income for ASML. If they lose this market, their revenue will also be greatly affected. China's breakthrough in the chip industry chain will sooner or later make these blockades ineffective. In the long run, China's chip industry will definitely get out of trouble and achieve full autonomy. As the old saying goes, the iron must be hard to forge. Only when China's own technology is strong can it truly get rid of external dependence and no longer be strangled by others. Although the road ahead may be bumpy, as long as China persists, China may not lose the future chip war. Therefore, this time the ban on lithography machine maintenance is not a dead end. On the contrary, it may become an important opportunity for China's technological independence. Just like the rise of Huawei, perhaps in the next few years, China will see more domestically produced chips emerge, and even surpass them in some areas. By then, the real worry is probably those countries and companies that once set up barriers against China. In general, although the situation seems tense now, there are opportunities in danger. As long as China continues to insist on technological innovation and enhance its independent research and development capabilities, the future will definitely not disappoint.